Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today we are going to compute with scientific notation. We're going to multiply, divide, add, and subtract. So hold on tight. Our first example has us multiplying with scientific notation. Our first step when we're multiplying is to regroup this. Let's take our 2 and 85 hundredths and let's take our 3 and 25 hundredths and let's multiply those separately. 2 and 85 hundredths times 3 and 25 hundredths. And when we multiply these two numbers together, and you can use a calculator, we have 9.2625. And our next one, we have 10 to the third and 10 to the fifth. So let's multiply those together. 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth. Well, Using our power rules here, we can take these two numbers and actually add the exponents. So we end up with 10 to the eighth. So our final answer here is 9.2625 times 10 to the eighth. So when we want to multiply with scientific notation, let's take a look at our factors here first. Multiply those together. We can take a look separately at the times 10 to the, add those exponents, get 10 to the eighth, and we have now our final answer. Let's continue on. If we look at two more examples of how to multiply with scientific notation, let's rewrite 6.4 times 8.75, and this is 56. And then we have 10 to the fifth times 10 to the negative third, which again is 10 to the five plus negative three, which is simply 10 to the second. So our final answer, 56 times 10 to the second. Once again, take a look at the numbers in front, multiply those together. Then look separately at our 10 to the, and get that answer, and then combine them at the end. Now what happens when one of the numbers is not written into scientific notation, like the number 10,000? Well, we need to get that number into scientific notation. So we have still 2.8 times 10 to the third. And then to get this number into scientific notation, our decimal point right now is there. We're going to move it 1, 2, 3 four times, and we end up with 1.0 times 10 to the fourth. And now we can do everything that we have been doing. We'll take our 2.8 and multiply it by 1.0, or just 1, and well, that's 2 and 8 tenths. We can then take our 10 to the third and multiply it by 10 to the 4th, and that again is 10 to the 3 plus 4. And so that is 10 to the 7th. So our final answer is 2 and 8 tenths times 10 to the 7th. So in summary, multiplying with scientific notation, multiply the numbers in front, and then Deal with your 10 to the, and combine them at the end. We're actually going to use a very similar process with division. When we divide with scientific notation, let's separate this as well. We can take 8 and 32 hundredths and divide that by 1 and 3 tenths. And this is 6 and 4 tenths when we divide. And separately, we can do 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 5th. Now this, remember our division with powers rules, we subtract. So this is 10 to the 2nd. So our final answer here is 6 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 2nd. So very similar to our multiplication, instead of multiplying, we will divide these numbers. 
And we also divide our 10 to the numbers. Instead of adding, we, of course, since we're dividing, subtract, and get our answer, and combine it at the end. Let's look at two more. Once again, we can set up our 3.75 and divide this by 8.525. Now this gets us an interesting number of 0 0.4395. Nine and we'll end here with the eight because if you type this in with a calculator, it just keeps going and going and going. Now let's take our ten to the seventh and divide it by ten to the negative four. Well, this is ten to the seventh minus negative four, which is simply ten to the eleventh. Now. When I write my final answer here, or what looks to be my final answer, I have 0 0.4398 times 10 to the 11th, except I have one little problem. This is not in scientific notation left, or yet. I need to move this decimal over so I can get 4.398 times 10 to the, well, my number went a little bit bigger here from 0.43 to 4.3. That number got bigger, so I need to do the opposite with my exponent, and that's getting it smaller. 4.398 times 10 to the 10th. So to summarize that part, we still divide, and we still use our exponent rules here with the 10 to the. Except when I get my final answer, or what looks to be my final answer, 0.4398 times 10 to the 11th, while it looks like it is in scientific notation, in fact, it is not. We needed to move our decimal place one to the right, and from 0.4398 to 4.398, that part of the notation got larger. Well, we need to do the opposite to equal that. From 11 to 10 needs to get smaller. Let's look at our last example of division here. We need to get this bottom part into scientific notation. So when we move our decimal place over once, twice, three times to the left, our new question is 4 and 2 tenths times 10 to the negative 8 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the, I moved it to the right, 1, 2, 3 times, so negative 3. I can do my division problem here. 4.2 divided by 2.5, and that's going to equal 1 and 68 hundredths. Then I can do 10 to the negative 8 divided by 10 to the negative 3. That is 10 to the negative 8 minus a negative 3, which is you need to keep change opposite, please do. Negative 8 plus 3, so times 10 to the negative 5. And just to do a quick check, are we in scientific notation? 1.68, yes we are. So our final answer is 1.68 times 10 to the negative 5th. And that's division. The largest planet in the solar system is Jupiter with a diameter of about 143,000 kilometers. The smallest planet in our solar system is Mercury with a diameter of about 5 times 10 to the third kilometers. About how many times greater is the diameter of Jupiter than the diameter of Mercury? Well, we have our about and that means we're going to estimate. Now, let's just off to the side think that, you know, Mr. R, I'm about six feet tall. Six, one and a half, but let's estimate that to six feet. Let's just pretend that Joey is two feet tall. Well, if I'm looking to try to figure out about how many times taller I am than Joey, we would take six divided by two to get three times. 
And so that's the same thing that we're going to do here in this question. We're going to take Jupiter to the largest at 143,000 and divide it by the smallest, which was Mercury, at 5 times 10 to the third. Now, if we rewrite the 143,000 into scientific notation, one, two, three, four, five spots. So this is going to be 1.43 times 10 to the fifth divided by 5 times 10 to the third. Now, we have a couple different options here. We could look and go, all right, what if I estimate now? This could be about one point. 4 times 10 to the 5th divided by 5 times 10 to the 3rd. Well, if I look at my 1.4 divided by 5, 1 and 4 tenths divided by 5 is 0.28. And if I look at my 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 3rd, 5 minus 3 gets me 2, so times 10 to the 2nd, which is about 28. So 28 could be an answer. I could just look at this as 1.43 and then divide it by 5 as well, and then estimate at the end. 1.43 divided by 5 is 0 0.286, 286 thousandths. And then still 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 3rd is still going to get me 10 to the 2nd which this gets us to be about 200, or two, excuse me, 28 and 6 tenths. So either way, we get about 28. Um, our textbook saying an answer for this could be about 30, if you really estimate it. And so 28, 30, uh, the neat thing about estimation is you can get slightly different answers as long as your logic is good. Now things get a little bit more difficult when we need to add and subtract. We have 7.3 times 10 to the 5th plus 2.4 times 10 to the 6th. We don't have an exponent rule for addition, so we can't take the nice little shortcut that we were taking with multiplication and division. So now when we go to solve this question, what we're going to have to focus on is getting these times 10 to the, to the same power. They need to be to the same power. One's a 5 and one's a 6 now, so we need to get it to the same power. It doesn't matter which you choose to change. I'm going to go ahead and take the 7.3 times 10 to the 5th and make it something times 10 to the 6th. That way, when I add, I can just then keep the exponents. Now, from 10 to the 5th to 10 to the 6th, that exponent got bigger. So I need to do the opposite. I need to move 7.3 and make it smaller. So I need to move my decimal point 1 back since I went 1 up with my exponent. So this is 0.73 times 10 to the 6th. Now, once my exponents are the same, and once I have these two numbers right there, I can actually add them. I have 0.73 plus 2.4, which is 3.13. Now the neat thing is 3.13 times 10 to the, I can just add, or I'm sorry, keep the exponents. Don't add them, keep them. So the steps here, you have different exponents here, 5 and 6. You need to get them to be the same, in this case 6 and 6. The 5 we moved up and got larger to a 6, so we need to do the opposite to the decimal point. We need to make it smaller, 7.3, down to 0.73. Then add the two numbers. Now check at the end, is this in scientific notation? 3.13 is, so we're good to go. Let's look at a couple more examples of this. I can also subtract. Right now, one of my exponents is a 9. The other one is a 7, so I do not have the same exponent. What I'm actually going to do for this question is look at the 9 and go, I want this to be to a 7. I want to make this times something times 10 to the 7th.
So you need to ask yourself, well, I went from nine to seven. I went down two spots. So if I went down two spots with the scientific notation, I need to go up two spots with my decimal to match that. Well, we'll move this to the right twice to make this 645. Notice the 6.45 got bigger to two spots since we moved two spots down from 9 to 7. Well, now I have 10 to the 7th and 10 to the 7th, so I can take my two numbers, 645, and subtract my 8.27. And when you do so, you end up with 636.73 times 10 to the 7th, since we're going to keep the 10 to the 7th. Now, this is where we need to check, are we in scientific notation? Just because we have times 10 to the 7th doesn't mean we're in scientific notation. This number here has to be between 1 and 10, and it's not. So I need to actually move the decimal point 1, 2 to the left to make this 6.3673 times 10 to the... Now, my number just went from 600 down to 6. It moved back two spots. So I actually need to move my exponent up 2 to match that to make this 10 to the 9th. So my final answer is 6.3673 times 10 to the 9th. Now, 56,500 minus 2.68 times 10 to the 5th. All right. Let's go ahead and get this first number into scientific notation. And we can do that by moving our decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 spots back to the left. So this number is 5.650. And actually, we don't even need to worry about the 0. Times 10 to the 4th minus... 2.68 times 10 to the 5th. Now, my exponents here are not the same yet, so I either need to move the, this 4 to a 5 or this 5 to a 4, and really it does not matter which you choose. We've gone with the first one every time so far, so let's see what it's like if we move the second one. So we'll keep this times 10 to the 4th minus something times 10 to the 4th. Now, what do we have to do with our decimal point? Well, from 5 to 4, we went down 1. So here we actually need to go up 1. And so this is going to become 26.8. So now I have 5.65 minus 26.8. Now, if you're doing this in a calculator, it's pretty easy to get your answer here of negative 21 0.15. If you're not, I would encourage you to keep change opposite and actually go 26.80 minus 5.65 and subtract this knowing that your answer is going to have to be negative. Now, what do we have? We have negative 21.15 times 10 to the fourth. Now, this number is not in scientific notation right now. We need to move our decimal place over once to the left here. And since I'm going to make this negative 2.115 times 10 to the 21 to 2, we actually got smaller by one spot. So we need to increase our 4 by 1 to contradict that and get the 5. So negative 2.115 times 10 to the 5th. Good luck.